Hello again everyone and welcome back to the underground. So today we're going to walk you through a quick installation of ATAC and all the stuff you need to get it running. So the first thing you need to get ATAC running is obviously an Android smartphone, which I have here. Any smartphone will work, it doesn't really matter uh, which one, but you might find that if you buy like a cheaper burner Android phone that the versions that are on the Google Play Store might not be compatible with your version, but don't worry, they usually are anyway. Uh, like in this case, this particular phone that I'm using today is just an old burner phone that I had lying around, and it, uh, the, the version of ATAC that's on the App Store is not even compatible with this, but it does work. Next thing you need is obviously the APK. Like I mentioned, uh, you can get the app from the Google Play Store, but there's a couple of reasons you might not want to do that. For one, you might not want uh, Google to know that you're downloading the app, and even if you're using a burner Google account, uh, it's just one more thing that you have to deal with. And there's always the potential for automatic updates. Uh, even if you turn automatic updates off, there's still that potential, right? It's still linked to the cloud in some way. Um, whereas if you download the raw APK file, once you install it, no one will ever know that you have it, which is what we're going to do today. The third thing you need is imagery, or in this case, I have an imagery file. Now, this is just an XML file that will allow us to stream imagery from the Esri Clarity uh, database of imagery. Uh, if you want to know how to download specific imagery tiles, we already have a video on how to do that. But, but for today, we're just going to stream imagery from the Internet. The next thing you need is elevation data. Uh, this goes hand in hand with the imagery. It's just another file that you drop in, um, but once you've got it loaded in, uh, it, it's very useful to have. In fact, it's crucial to have for things like ViewShed, uh, being able to use the 3D functions of ATAC and navigation and things like that. You're going to need elevation data. And the fifth thing you're going to need are plugins. And I've just got a couple of plugins here just as a sample, just so that you can see how they're installed and all that. Um, but the plugins, as everyone knows, uh, plugins are always the hard thing to come by when it comes to ATAC for the civilian sector. Now, if you're, if you're a government or you have a .mil or .gov email address, you can, of course, get all the plugins you want and use them on your private system. But the sort of culture for ATAC in the civilian sector is, um, is not super great right now. So... Uh, and support is kind of lacking, but we can talk about that another day. Uh, but for now, we're just going to run you through the installation. So, so what I've done here is I've just I'm just viewing uh, all the files that I've downloaded to my downloads folder uh, in this Android installation, and I've got all the files here that I need. Uh, it's going to be pretty easy. All I'm going to do is just tap the ATAC uh, app and install the application. Now, you might have to, on your particular device, you might have to check uh, install apps from unknown sources or something like that. But for this case, this phone's already good to go. So we're just going to install the, the application. And once it's installed, all we got to do is open it. That's all we need to do. So next up, we're going to go through the installation process on the ATAC. All you need to do is uh, accept a bunch of stuff. So, uh, of course, end user license agreement. Uh, I would advise reading it, but whatever, I've already read it. So... Um, now here's the the kind of kicker that a lot of people get a little bit out of shape about and that is the uh, Permissions that ATAC requires so a lot of people who haven't used ATAC and don't really understand what it what it is uh, are, are a little bit apprehensive about taking a government app an app that was developed for the United States military and putting it on their device and then giving it a bunch of permissions. Um, when you phrase it like that, it sounds like ATAC is just a, a spy satellite in your pocket. But here's the thing, it's it's not. Uh, of course, you know, don't take our word for it, don't trust us on any of this stuff, do your own uh, research and looking into this kind of stuff and you know, look out the third party reviews and all that kind of stuff um, and check out the source code and stuff like that if you want. But just keep in mind that the data on ATAC doesn't go anywhere. It's not like it's reporting back to a home server on the government's website, you know, or, or anything like that. Uh, it, it can if you want it to. And when you do that, you obviously have to set up the server from the government side. There's no, like, master server for ATAC anywhere in the military. It's just uh, even TAC Maps has different servers within it. So... That's something to keep in mind, is that like, look, yes, it's going to request your location data, but it's because that's because it's a GPS app. Well, you know, it's like, if you're going to want to use a GPS geospatial, you know, team awareness kit, you're going to have to enable GPS, right? So um, that's just something, I'll, I'll sort of explain what all these things do, but right here in the beginning it says this data is not sent to the developer's application, So, and that's most certainly true. So, 
so yeah the first one is device location yep you're gonna want to allow this all the time or you can deny it either way it's up to you I leave it on all the time because I want ATAC I want my other team members to know where I'm at when I'm using the ATAC app when it's running on this particular device I want them to know it and of course you can disable that within the app itself I'll show you how to do that here in a second uh, phone calls that's for a specific plug-in um, take pictures and video well you can within the ATAC app you can actually take pictures and georeference them and things like that so that's cool so I'm going to allow that same thing with files so that you can save data right and record audio this particular notification or permission is for a specific plugin that will allow you to record radio traffic so I'm going to record that or allow that and here we go Alright, so once the ATAC app is running, uh, it's going to give you this particular device set up. Now you can go ahead and change all this stuff now and start importing all your data. It's set up for to, to pop up this little screen on your first install. But let's just say for a second that you um, don't have this or it doesn't pop up or you accidentally click done. That's okay. Let me go ahead and get rid of this battery optimization stuff. So if you didn't want to use that little pop-up menu that you get right when you when you install ATAC, you can always uh, go over here to the Import Manager. So you're going to click the top three dots at the top right-hand corner, find the little tab that says Import Manager, and here we go. So once you click the SD card little icon, you can navigate to the folder where you have this stuff saved, and this is the file that I'm going to load, this Esri Clarity World Imagery.xml, and click OK, and it's going to start bringing it in. Now, as you can see, it changed the sort of map here, but that's because I haven't I brought it in, but I didn't turn it on. So what I need to do is go to Maps and Favorites, this little map icon up here. Of course, when you start ATEC, you're going to get all this tutorial stuff. Fine, whatever. And as you can see right here, at the very top is going to be the Esri Clarity World Imagery. So let me do that again for you. You're going to click the Maps and Favorites icon up here at the top and Esri Clarity World Imagery. That's the file that I just downloaded and as you can see it's already got 248 kilobytes cache and if I zoom in, let's say zoom into India here, it will start clearing up. And that's because it's streaming from the internet. I've got this connected to Wi-Fi and it will continue to download and uh, get this high resolution imagery uh, for you there. It's good to play around with. I personally don't tend to use this a lot because I almost never use my ATAC app on uh, the internet. I always use downloaded imagery, but there you go. So once again, maps and favorites, and you can choose which one. You can also choose the outline of if you wanted to cache it for offline use, but we'll show you how to do that later. But for now, let's bring in the elevation data. So let's go back to our handy dandy import manager. Click local SD card. Here we are in our file again, and bring in the DTED information. There we go. It's going to bring in for just a second. It's going to take it a minute to load. Okay, here we go. And as you can see, like I mentioned, the ATAC app has a very simple import manager. It's it detected that this file is a DTED file, so it's going to so we're going to import it as a zipped DTED directory. And that's because that's exactly what it is. Okay, once we bring it in, just give it a second to think a minute, and you should be able to zoom into like zoom into the Himalayas here for a second. All right, so to make sure you've got the DTED uh, stuff installed and it's all running and all that, you can hold down the north arrow. Oh, sorry, missed it. Hold down the north arrow, turn on 3D, and as you can see, now your map is displaying 3D mountains, which is pretty cool. So let me go ahead and allow you to see that. You can tilt it, pan, all that kind of stuff. You can see that there's definitely a 3D effect to the map. There's other ways to check if you've got DTED available, but I just find that's a pretty handy way to do it. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Now, if we wanted to bring in plugins, we're going to do the same exact thing. So, we're going to go to the Import Manager, local SD card right here. Let's just say, let's bring in the Hammer APK. Uh, the Hammer is an app which will allow you to uh, use ATAC with a normal civilian off the shelf radio. So, as you can see, I've already got it in here, so I'm just going to click Overwrite. And as you can see, ATAC is not allowed to install apps from unknown sources. I'm going to go into Settings right quick, Allow from this source, Jump Back, and Install. There we go. Now it's all done. Now, once you've installed the APK, you can outside the app just tap the APK if you wanted to. Um, but now it's going to want to load the plugin into. Alright guys, so that's how you install plugins. Uh, sorry I didn't show the exact end of that plugin loading. Um, I had to shut it actually down because the, the Hammer plugin conflicted with the microphone on my uh, on my screen recording app here. So 
sorry about that but in order to show you how to check to see that the hammer plugin or any other plugin is loaded you go to your settings go to your full settings go to tack package management and it will be right here it will be listed on this page now I had to uninstall it um, so that I could finish this particular tutorial but just want to show you that's that's how that works so yeah that's pretty much it now you should be up and running to go with ATAC and you can start doing all kinds of different stuff like dropping points and all kinds of stuff so uh, just wanted to show you how to briefly get ATAC up and going and of course we will have many many more ATAC tutorials on how to do specific things within ATAC so that's really a brief introduction of how to get ATAC started on your device. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, make sure to follow us on other platforms as well, just in case YouTube ends up shutting us down for some reason. And if you'd like to support us monetarily, make sure to check out our merch store or our Patreon so that we can continue bringing videos and tutorials and other content to you guys uh, in the future. So that's all we've got for now, and we will see you next time. And always remember to fight in the shade.